Good morning. I put myself myself south so it's easier. I'm gonna open this hand a spade. Uh, I could open a club, but since my spades are so strong, I'd rather open a spade and preempt the bidding a little bit in third seat. Good morning, Linda. Or good morning, Saba. Welcome to the stream. Any music request, by the way, I can do type. What happened to Adam? Oh, is this a reference to my uh, to my beard? Yeah, no more beard. All right, so two hearts is a transfer to spades. It shows uh, like three spades and constructive values. Um, by the way. I know, it's Anam's birthday. I guess we'll just pass here. To know, I don't know whether he means it as natural. He probably means it as natural. I mean, he didn't alert it. I don't know whether he means it as natural or in the minors, but um, we'll see. It's bizarre. I think Anam had. I think he's got the minors. Probably. I'm just gonna ask about Tuno. I think he's got the minors, and Anam has a double and bid hand with hearts. That's what's happening here. Um. But she passed. It's just so bizarre. Okay, so I would have made a mixed raise with Chris's hand originally. Um, right, two places to play. Okay. Can't be so bad. Okay. Ten of hearts. So I do think five hearts here. 
I think she's probably got like Queen Doubleton of, of spades or something. It's just my initial feeling. She had six hearts. So she, she had a double and bid hand comprised of six hearts. Um, club pitch. Okay. So he's pitching clubs and guarding diamonds. So more likely to have the ace of diamonds than the queen of diamonds. Because if he had the queen of diamonds, if he had the ace of diamonds, he could pitch diamonds easily. So I'm going to play a diamond to the king. Guess that was wrong. Um, sure. I don't mind it. I'll take all the hand roughs. Let's see if I really butchered the diamonds. I guess I did. I guess I'll just play the jack. Um, I'm gonna rough with the ace and play a spade. wasn't the best play. I would have had to have been pretty perfect to make this. I think they make three now. They have six hearts, two clubs, and a diamond. And I guess they make four hearts also. Oh, these are these aren't. Uh, let me let me preload the hands. Hold on. Um, let's do trials, open trials. This is my new search buzzword. It seems to work pretty well. Greek 2020 open, open trials. Let's go with that. I guess I'll double. Pass should say no clear direction. I'm gonna bit a spade when it comes back to me, if it does. That's a cool option. Do you get to see the results of the open as well as the end? Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For the view graph hands, yeah, I'll be able to see what, what the other tables did on that. I'll show you when the first result comes in. Okay. 
kind of want to go make some coffee. When I'm dummy, I'm going to go make coffee. I don't think I'm getting peace here. No channel points? How do you not have channel points? Um... Oh. I guess I'm doubled in a spade. Very slow double of one spade. So when I get doubled in a no trump, I will run to two clubs. It's the most creepy crawly auction ever. I could have also redoubled the no trump. I mean, whatever. I'll just play two clubs. I don't mind playing in the weaker four card suit because I'll just take roughs here. This is sort of what I figured. So he's four, five, something. What a what a punishing dummy for my double. I mean what a, what a like horrible sequence. I, I really don't understand why Anam is not leading Trumps. I mean East has to have four spades. I guess I'll just play the King of Spades. Ah, I'm glad. Okay, the ace is there. Means the Diamond King is more likely in the slot. Wow, they're really like not defending this hand well. So I guess I'll just win. Um, I could go Queen of Spades, rough a spade, Diamond to my hand, rough a spade. Kind of like that. Unless I think the diamonds could be 3-3. Three, three. She shifted to the 8. So can she have 3 spades, 2 hearts, 5 clubs? And 3 diamonds? That would give Stuart... Um, that would give Stuart... Um, Four spades, five hearts, one club, and three diamonds. And if the diamonds are three, three, I can go ten to diamonds, diamonds to the jack, and a spade. It's better, but I don't really want Anam to rough it and lead a trump. Stuart has double tinned diamond. I can go ten to diamonds, diamond. He has to rough the air, then plays a heart, high heart. I can rough. Then Anam plays a trump. I win the ace. And then... I guess I can exit. 
Uh, she can play a diamond. Funny, I don't know, I, I'm not sure um, whether to play 10 of diamonds, diamond here, when she goes nine of diamonds. I'm a little, I think maybe I'll try it. Maybe the diamonds are three, three. Yeah, the diamonds are 3-3, three, three. so Anam has five clubs. So now a spade. And now, um, she has five clubs. Um, so all of her cards are clubs. So now we just, I think we pitch here. Love club. Um, my eight of clubs is not quite coming into play. She is on her nine XX left, probably. But what can it help? If she has King, Queen, Jack, I need to play the 10. If she has Honor, 9, 4th remaining, I play the 10, it goes... They, I play the 8, let's say I play the Ace, I drop it. Now I play a Heart. And I pitch it, it doesn't help, it doesn't help. I know he has a stiff Honor left, but I don't think it helps to play the Ace. I don't see, uh, to play. What can I do? She's out of hearts. Might as well play the 10. Whatever. There's nothing I can do there. I mean, even if I played the ace, it wouldn't help. Um, sure. It's annoying. Welcome to the stream. So this is one of those awkward hands to bid. I'm just going to start with two clubs and hope the auction doesn't die. If the auction doesn't die, I'll be well positioned to bid my hand. But um, if the auction does die, so be it. Yeah, it's, it, it, it gives me impair results against the other people. One of them doubled and my hand got into a similar dilemma. I mean, I could pass facing a pass partner. It's just not really my style, non vol So she has diamonds. We don't play any like fancy Bart or anything like that. Um, it's a funny call now because two hearts is an underbid, but my hand really got worse by the two diamond bid. So she has diamond values. So I'm just gonna bid two hearts and underbid the hand. It's very misfitty to me. Come on, balance, Stuart. Do something. You're not going to let us have it for two hearts, are you? Dying for him to balance. Oh, my God. 
All right, looks like I did decently well to go low here. So they're stopping the uh, the spade rough. I guess I'll just start developing the clubs. Um whatever i'm in uh, what am i i'm in two i'm in two hearts i'll just make it that was a good lead club pitched i'll go low club now um i'll duck it give myself a dummy entry oh, but they duck the club uh he ducked the jack of clubs, really? <laughs> he wanted so bad to deny me from the dummy that he actually sacrificed a club trick. <laughs> so now we run one trump here. And then we're going to play another trump. And now the king of spades. Worked out. Someone played three hearts on a weak no trump opening. And someone played four hearts. I mean, it definitely went low in the hands. Um, but I mean, two diamonds was not what I was looking to hear at all. It just made my hand look so much worse. I was hoping that she would get the inference that since I went hearts, clubs, hearts, that if I'm that I probably have a decent hand. Otherwise I just would have been two hearts initially over um what happened to my music? Um Okay, we have another good hand here. I mean, two spades. I guess I can just bid three now. Just make a nice practical bid. Partner, it could be a little bit light for two spades, so I just show max, like, a good hand and a heart stopper. I'm underbidding my hand a little bit, but, I mean, I don't love my king third of hearts when Adam has the ace of hearts behind me. So I think three now is just practical. Four spades. Oy. Don't love this with the heart lead coming through. But what am I going to do? I mean, I have significant extra values. So we're going to have to hope that she makes it. Oh, I get to make coffee. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be right back.
okay? So take a look at her hand, okay? This is a non-example of a four spade bid. A non-example. A hand that has a broken six card spade suit, okay? And a low doubleton heart with the heart lead coming through. Usually when I bid three no here, I have a source of tricks and diamonds. And as you can see, four spades has absolutely no play. I mean, I guess three no, I guess three no might go down too, but at least I have more of a chance. I mean, if the king of diamonds is in the pocket, I have the queen of clubs and the ace of spades as entries. So, but it looks like the diamond's off anyway. Yeah, like we bid two spades kind of light in these spots, especially with the six card spade suit. That's why I'm not going to burn her with a uh, and bid three no just on some random like four to 13, 14 count. I'm going to bid two no. We like to get our suits in. I mean, this is fine, I guess. I, I would have preferred if she had like one more spade spot if she only has a seven count. Like she can just double maybe with this hand, but it's not it's not horrible. I, I don't I don't agree with the four spade bid at the end though. Just the heart holding and, and the lack of spade spots combination is just like makes it wrong. So we play fourth best leads. Uh, if she led from 10 4 the clubs and they play the queen, I have to duck in this situation so that I don't give them three club tricks. There's really no reason for me to, um, to, to play the king. I don't know where the ace is, but... Uh, 
uh, I play attitude leads with my brother and um, one day I just got sick and tired of it and not knowing the count and I was just like I, I, I like to play fourth best now I'm I've, I've gone back to fourth best I find it to be much easier his partner's gone up the line in hearts implying positive Smith and encourage spades um I'm gonna go king here. I'm gonna pitch another spade. Better release a diamond loser on the queen of spades if she has a diamond loser. Now the club. So we got all of our tricks. Club duck was a good bridge play. I mean, it was a good. It, it kept our fluidity in the club suit too, so we didn't have any issues. Good old fourth best from your longest and strongest worked out pretty decently there from my partner. I know a lot of people who would lead a major with her hand. Um, I'm not big into leading doubletons against one or Trump. I might lead a heart, but uh, you know, neither of these minors is extremely attractive to lead from. My partner did well. So diamond is spade. Um, I don't have a great bid here. I'm gonna go two diamonds. I really love my hand for a one no trump bid. So I'll just like raise the diamonds and maybe I'll go crazy later in the bidding. Three spades. So um, if my partner has like a stiff spade and some diamonds, I, I could see us maybe making a game here. I really like my hand now for diamonds. It went pass. I'm gonna back in with four clubs if I get the opportunity. It's a little bit nutty, but if my partner has a stiff spade, I think we have a really big match. And if it goes four spades, I just hammer. So now I bid four clubs to just like sort of show that I have extra values with clubs and bring the clubs into the picture and see if my partner gets excited. I bit my hand a little weirdly. I guess I could have started with two clubs over a spade as well. One, five clubs. I love this. I love this, by the way. I'm cold. I have to be cold. I have to be cold. If I double, I may send it back. I mean, I have to be completely cold in this hand. If they just double on general principle, Five spades, oh my god. I want a bit of slam. Will she know pass is forcing? Stiff. Should, do we really have a chance to play a slam if my partner was passing three spades? And
I'm gonna pass and hope she interprets it as forcing. I mean, because they were prepared to play in three spades. So I think by inference, it has to be a forcing pass. I'm putting some trust in her that she's gonna be able to... Oh my God, I wanna freaking kill somebody. Jesus. Uh, how, like, how can this not be a forcing pass situation? They, they were prepared to play three spades. We have to have some inferential, like, forcing pass situations. Like, I, I want to play, I want to play good bridge. I want to be able to pass with this hand so my partner can bit a slam if she wants to. Oh my god. Not happy. I'm really unhappy. Um, do I go for a heart rough? Um, well, because if I double, if I double, I'm saying I want to defend five spades doubled, which I might want to do, but, but my hand is really like, I, I, conducive for a slam if she has a singleton spade and like a good hand. So I want to, it's called a forcing pass. I'm giving her the option to pass or double. Obviously we're not letting them play five spades on double. They were prepared to play three spades and now they're bidding as a sacrifice. So whatever, I'm just gonna leave the nine of hearts and play for a rough. I mean, this is really silly. I guess I should have just hammered it myself. I see this dummy, it looks very silly. So, forcing pass situation is like a special is a special thing in bridge. It means that we cannot let the opponents play undoubled. So, if it's a forcing pass situation, then if I pass, it's encouraging my partner to bid out to the next level. Whereas if I double, it's like a stop sign. It says, "I want to defend. I don't want you to bid." But since I you have to identify that it's a forcing pass situation. The opponents were ready to play in three spades and only bid five spades as a sacrifice later on. Why a club? I don't understand this at all. Whatever, I'll just play a heart. I guess my partner is all the heart internals, ace queen. Um, I guess I'll duck it. I'm just gonna exit a trump. I mean, I don't need to break a diamond. If Declare has like, yeah, I guess I could play a diamond. Maybe that would have been better, but I don't, I don't see the need to break any suits right now. Just let Declare play the red suits himself. I think he's gonna have to lose two more tricks. Down three, undoubled. Very silly. Silly, silly, silly. Hopefully my partner knows when Declare leads a diamond from the dummy to play low. All right, Jack of Diamonds isn't gonna, even if my partner pops, it doesn't matter. How about a diamond now, partner? Doesn't matter. Declare's five spades, two clubs. 
I declare it three diamonds. It's funny. We get another heart trick. Down three. Okay. Um, yeah, we could have said it four if she ducked the diamond. I won the queen and played a diamond through. In five clubs, we were at least we were down in five clubs. Hmm. Diamond is spade, two diamonds, three spades. Pass, pass. I bid four clubs now, but I've already limited my hand to like maximum 10 points when I bid four clubs. It goes pass. I'm pretty sure my partner should just pass. Like, she has only a 12 count, and I have a maximum. She has only four diamonds, only a 12 count. They're all in five clubs. You see, I this is why I bid two diamonds, by the way to slow down the auction a little bit. I wanted to make sure to limit my hand because I only had three diamonds. I wanted to limit it, limit my hand. That's why, I had, and I was very happy when I got an opportunity to back in with four clubs to then show, show the hand, but limit it initially. I think uh, Anam is alluding to the fact that perhaps Stewart should not have been to the five level with a five three three two hand. Uh, two diamonds shows heart support. It's a constructive raise of hearts, so I'm just going to bid two hearts. I don't know why they're not alerting their bids. It should be a three card spade support. They're playing this like European style where double is four or five spades.
I guess I'll just pass. These two have some decent hands. Again, you know, it's just so, it's, it's, it's not really, this, the, I would compare board five to board, um, I mean, I would compare board five to board, where, where is my comparison board? The one that's not here that we played. You know, when you don't make a mixed raise, you don't have four trump. When you show your hand, when you play all of these like four four different types of raises, and you show your hand narrowly with two diamonds, it's a three card constructive raise. So she she should not take another call in this situation. ACBL alert question: Is a jump raise to three level in competition no longer alertable as it is natural? No strength description required. Um, I haven't really like looked into it that closely, but yeah, I don't think it would be. Y you see, I don't think it would be alertable regardless, Saba. Um, I, I you see, I don't. I, we play mixed raises, we play preemptive raises. This is not a two diamond bit. This is a hand that needs to either bid three diamonds or three hearts. I don't care which one, just pick one. But like, don't don't end up end the auction so that the opponents can have like an easy double of three hearts. I mean, when they, he gets to describe his hand, he gets to bid again, then he gets to double again. It's so much easier for them to double us. The point is, we're not trying to get doubled. We're trying to jam the auction to them. Because if they double, they could probably get 300. Ace of spades. Wow. Six Jack nine ten Jack ten nine six X it says stiff ace of spades. But the question is, is Anam going to be able to read it? It looks like I might be getting out for down one now, unless Anam has the ace of hearts. So I'm gonna rough this with the 10. And now I'm gonna pretend like I'm taking a hard finesse. Um, and now I play another heart. Yeah, just make the auction as difficult as possible on the opponents. High cross row? I think of a high cross row. I think my eight of hearts is high. I think I just have a high cross row. She should have played a trump. When she won the ace of trump, she should have played a trump. I think that cost her a trick. Uh, GLGR, if guess, no game prospects, preempt early. Yeah, early, I'm a big believer in um, aggressive initial action. If we have, if we have nine trumps, um, if we have nine trumps, especially white red in a competitive auction, we need to we need to preempt to the three level immediately. It's much much better to then to back in later. Mm. 
We won a lot of imps here. They made five clubs and six diamonds. Six diamonds is like, whoa. They made six diamonds. On a spade, even after you lose a club finesse, they still made six diamonds because they were able to pitch all the spades. Six diamonds is like, that's like a professional, that's a professional contract, six diamonds. They reach the four, four diamond fit, the six level. They have all the spade pitches on the clubs. Like that's, that's um, heart lead. And then you can even lose the club finesse after you draw three trumps, it doesn't matter. You just claim. 1370, that is, a, that is a nice result. That is a very nice result. See, three hearts. I think one club, one heart, double three hearts. Absolutely, that's the bid. One club, one heart, double three hearts, both players. One heart and third seed, two clubs. Um, I'm gonna bid, I'm gonna do go a little wacko here. I'm gonna bid four hearts. I don't really have it, but I have great trumps, so they probably can't double me, and I have a stiff club. So I'm gonna put the max pressure on. Whenever you're really good trumps, you can always like sort of preempt a little bit more because it's a lot harder for them to double you when you have really good trumps. Just putting the max pressure on at all times. Yeah, two diamonds, double, good. So, I mean, over a constructive two diamonds, it is a bit awkward. He should probably cubit two hearts, honestly, and just set a game force. So the question is, do you think Anam is implying clubs when she bids four spades? Um, do you think that that implies also that she has clubs to go with them to bid four spades as a past hand? So is this some like five bagger with the club support? I don't know. Maybe they're having a misunderstanding. So I'm gonna pass it out. Not that I would bid anyway. I mean, I've already certainly bid everything I can with this hand. Wow. The six of hearts, uh, we play third and fifth leads. So it looks like my partner has six hearts. Um, I'm gonna play the ace. Let's see what's happening here. Six, king, jack. Unless she has four hearts. Okay. King, Jack, she has King, Jack, 10, 6. Uh, is she leading 4th best with 6? I mean, sometimes they do that. Sometimes you might lead 4th best with 6, but certainly I don't think she would lead 4th best with 5. She could also have a 4-bagger. I mean, she is in 3rd seat. Um, so I'm... I'm baffled by the six of hearts because I can't figure out the count in the heart suit. Remember, she opened one heart in third seat red, so it's consistent with um, King Jack 6X. <laughs> I mean, King Jack 10 six, six times. I mean, I'm considering to shift to a diamond. I'm also considering to shift to a club. Um... If my partner has trump control, I can just get a club rough. So the question is, what's the better shot? I don't think I'm going to continue hearts. Even if my partner has, even if we have another heart trick, I don't see the urgency for it. Um, maybe I just go for a club rough. I, I'm not really, sh I'm not really clear on this. I kind of want to kill the dummy if Declare has, but if Declare has three clubs. We can't kill the dummy, but we can definitely get a rough. Let's say she wins it in her hand and plays a spade. If my partner has a king jack third of spades, we can beat it that way. Diamond. 
we can take a diamond trick. She can probably shift to she can probably shift to a club. I think I might just play a diamond. Just my highest diamond to say don't lead one back. I mean, a club, if she can work it out. Play my lowest one. Maybe a heart now, actually. If, if my partner has like queen third of spades, maybe a heart could be a good play. Maybe my partner had a four bagger. Maybe my partner just had four hearts and open a heart in, th in third seat. Club, I kind of like. But if the spades are, if, if Anam has a king, queen, fourth, king, queen, whatever. Declare spades are really king queen fifth. There's nothing we can do anyway. Maybe we needed to play a uh, heart. Third round of hearts probably was the best shot. Oh, she had the jack ten of clubs. I bet she had the ace of diamonds. She can get to the ace of diamonds, draw trump. I don't see anything we can do. She did have a four bagger. That's funny. That is funny. Frisky. Why does my music keep dying? Um, The Six of Hearts was really a strange lead. Uh, that was a head scratcher. <laughs> Let's see how we would do in Four Hearts. Not too well. Um, we lose three spades. The Ace of Diamonds and a Diamond Rough when they pitch a diamond. Wait, three spades, the Ace of Diamonds, Diamond Rough, the Ace of Clubs. I guess it's 800. At least 800. They, they can't even come close to doubling this. My partner and I were both in outer space in the same hand. So redouble shows a doubleton spade in competitive values. I'm going to go ahead and bid two diamonds now. What is this music? I'm struggling with the music today. How do we win an M.5? Uh, once uh, there was one six forty, <laughs> and there was okay, and there was no one else bid with our cards. We're the only people crazy enough to bid. Yeah, one heart red is probably not a good idea with this hand. I think she should pass. Okay, I'm in three diamonds.
Come on, make the lead. Ah, I see. Okay. So it looks like six clubs. And Anam probably has six hearts. She might only have five for this. Um, I think Stuart probably has three diamonds. Um, just because he was so eager to pass three diamonds. So I think he's probably got some decent trumps over there, I have to guess. So I'd say Anam probably is 4-5-2-2. Two, two. That would be my initial read on this hand, but I could be wrong. Um, I don't really have a great plan yet, though, is the problem. I mean, I guess I have to play on spades. I don't really have any other play. Go 10 of spades. <laughs> what happened to the beard? Uh, I don't know. Um, Jack. Okay, I think I just duck this. I think he's got like ace, jack, nine, four. Oh, no, she has the spades. Whatever. I don't think he's playing the jack with ace, king. It's not bad. I guess he's going to play a heart now would be his best play. Heart would be his best play for sure. Yeah, I don't think that's best. I think I just rough. And now it stops me from the club tap at least a little bit. So now I think I just go spade. I don't worry about it. 10 or 9 coming. A king. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Well, low club. I mean, if he really wants to let me pitch off a heart, I'm not complaining. Now, she can't really play a spade that effectively, but she might just do it anyway. She played a heart. Um, so I think I now... Um... I think now I just go heart, 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 and just take the rough, and a heart, Let's see what happens here, six clubs, two hearts, I think two spades and three diamonds. But if he had three spades and, and, two, and two diamonds, I should have played the spade first. But I thought he only had two spades the way the cards were going. I thought I, I my initial read was four five two two. Uh the the eight of diamonds is uh pretty friendly. So let's count some high cards. He had king, jack of spades. He had king, queen of clubs is nine. Uh, nothing in hearts, so probably the king of diamonds. I'm gonna rough a, a spade with the nine of diamonds now. I guess I'm down one. No. It's not. Oh no, my six of diamonds is high. Wait a minute, wait a minute, my six of diamonds is high. Wait a minute, hold on. The eight of diamonds... What did he rough with? 
I overrubbed the Ada diamonds, did I not? Um, uh, what happened to the trumps? I thought she had one. I'm, I'm, I'm really confused right now. I think it just goes. No, he has a trump. Is the problem? Did he have four diamonds. I think I just go queen of diamonds, and then a diamond to the six. I mean, am I, am I crazy? Yeah, she roughed a club, okay. Whatever, at least I made it. Where did I lose the trump? Oh right, she roughed a club. That's right, yeah. I missed that. Well, it worked. I don't know about this. When I when I played the losing heart from the dummy, his Ada Diamonds play was uh, perhaps not best. Thank you for the follow, uh, Russern. Russern Koopa. Thank you for the follow. So on that last hand, um, my partner and I play that the redouble of a, of a spade shows a doubleton spade in competitive values. It's what I call the uh, Michael Rosenberg redouble. It's a redouble of a negative double, shows a doubleton in support and any competitive values. So it allows me to compete to two diamonds on a minimum hand because I know my partner has some values. So it might have won us a part score here. I generally try to open my best suit in third seat if I can, so pass, pass, a diamond. If my clubs and my diamonds were swapped, I had ace, king, jack, ten of clubs, and ace, fourth of diamonds, I would have opened a club. It's a very slow one, no trumpet. Maybe he doesn't have a diamond stopper. I'm going to leave the king of diamonds, which is power. So Anima has a, a good hand. She's got a full 15 count. Took the low road. Okay, nine. So, um, I'm really confused why my music keeps stopping. But I'm gonna just play. I don't want to play spades too aggressively because I have bad spots. I'm gonna play a heart here. If he has four hearts, then my partner has the queen. Because he probably would have been a heart otherwise. I have to figure out why my music keeps stopping. Um, I miss what happened in the heart, but it's all right. Oh, maybe. I don't know. I missed my partner's signal on the heart.
Uh, for those of you in the chat who don't know, uh, we have uh, an event next tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Um, an over my shoulder bridge event tomorrow. Um, let me see if uh, Cletus Burgers, could you maybe post the link to that event? Maybe the one I sent you this morning in the chat. Thank you. play jack of diamonds here i'm not really interested in getting end played so i don't need to have that card in my hand hey are you okay yeah i'm good i'm streaming right now you are yeah okay i just check in do you find all the winners do you found yeah yeah i'm going? good i'm good i'm good so call me when you need right all right okay bye, bye. Why is this hand taking a million years? It's like... I guess they did pretty well to stay low, I don't know. Thank you for the follows, Karakli13, and next 52 cards. To make sure I see those. Okay. Fourth best. I got a text that my music is bad. Oh my god, I never thought I'd ever hear MGMT again. But guess who popped up on the new What? Gabba what am I listening to? 
She's late for baby yoga, but she's looking hella fly. For speeding out in public, catching everybody's eye. With her brand new Orbis stroller and her probiotic smoothie. I hope was checking prices on that tasty vegan sushi. With that ad buster's mag and her artisan toast. She's always shopping local and avoiding GMOs. Alright, I have to focus on the card play, people. The music is gonna do what the music is gonna do. Watching girls in HBO really takes her back. To the Bushwick parties and the vinyl stacks. We could uh, run the Jack of Clubs. That looks like a good play here. There we go. Jack of Clubs. Let that let that roll. Let it roll. There we go. Set up these bad puppies. All right, we're in good shape here. I think unless you can just steamroll through a million tricks this may seem like a stupid question. yeah I think he's got two good clubs and two good hearts um, some oh no club club yeah ooh I'm concerned now I guess I'll pitch a spade if he has two good hearts I can't really Pitch, uh, I don't. I don't know the, that I can pitch a heart necessarily. Um, but now he can just play a diamond. This is a problem. Uh, maybe I should have just pitched a heart. Damn. I guess I just had to pitch a heart. What am I doing? He pitched a heart. There was nothing I could do. I was squeezed. I, I was squeezed. I can't. I I have to hold the heart and I have to hold the spade and I have to hold the ace of diamonds. Did you hear Jessica had an oh my God, This music is absolutely killing me right now. About the health of her newborn. How basic. No more TV on the Where she heard the interview. Please. All right, Ho hopefully, hopefully this will be okay. So they play these like transfer things. And that last hand was well played by Stewart. Is there anything we could have done to stop it? I don't know that there was. I should have probably pitched a heart anyway, just in case my partner had a had a heart guard.
That's the event we're talking about right here. I'm really looking forward to this one. We need more of these types of events. And I think I think we're gonna get them. I might have to delete that message, Creejol, I'm sorry. I don't know who's watching my um I don't know I don't know who's watching my uh my stream, so She have the Ace of Clubs here. The Six of Clubs is pretty low. I'm just gonna win it and play a club. Well, as she pitched a Six of Clubs, is a very low club. Did we have a spade trick I missed? I don't know. I guess I should have played a spade, maybe. But she pitched such a low club. I guess, did we miss a spade trick? Um, I could have made life easier myself and played the Jack of Spades to trick one. And then had a discovery play of whether the declare had the queen. But, I mean, I don't like to do that because sometimes my partner's under lead aces. So, a little worrisome to do that. So then I kind of just needed direction on which black suit to play, I think. Yes. At least the music is like okay right now. It's been a challenging day for the audio. I have to say.
It's my lead. Finally. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess I'll lead a club. I mean... Sounds like I should lead a club. Not much to do here. I have no entrance to put another club through. I think Declara has a heart void. I think he's... Yeah. Not much I can do here. I'm gonna pitch the deuce of hearts. We got another spade trick. They didn't have a great fit. Chris is not letting letting him get away with anything. I don't, I'm not gonna be the no trump with this hand. I'm, I'm much happier just like defending hearts and I don't really have enough values to be a no trump in competition. So pass is just much better action. Is this a politics stream? Um, n no, not at all. Has nothing to do with politics. 
Those GA Senate runoffs? Yeah. I hope whoever got more votes wins. How about that? I'm definitely pro-democracy. Can we just play? I mean, this is so slow, honestly. Like, um... This is so slow. I mean, it's just killing me right now. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it. My hand's so bad. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna literally. I'm just gonna pass the spade. We're playing Rusinote leads, so it implies the king. partner really is 9 3rd I kind of should cover but I guess it just doesn't matter I can just play low four clubs Shitty good hand. She had a real good hand. Just pop ace, I mean. There's no point in ducking this. Claire is not gonna misguess that heart. Um, why did they make 170? Oh, they lost a heart, a diamond, and a spade. Uh, no one bid that game. It's pretty thin. But I think it was cold. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I have no idea what happened. Like, I just woke up one day, and then I just had less hair in my face. What do you prefer to play against a strong no trump? Um, I mean, these days uh, I play. Um, these days I play multi landy. Um, I mean, maybe in match points you can play something like Mechwell, but in a team game I kind of like multi landy. I think it's important to have two clubs as the majors in in teams. Uh, that's 100% forcing, so I'm just going to bid two diamonds. I used to play suction when I was younger. And 
too old for that now. Anything with two clubs is the majors is good at imps. I can also just play straight up landy. I really don't mind it. Like two clubs, majors. Why don't I rebid two clubs? Um, yeah, I think we just bid we bid our better minor. I mean, in some partnerships, I would rebid two clubs, but okay. So here, she should have bid two spades, which is the impossible two spades. Um, that's a convention since she can't have four spades. That would be like an artificial cubit in support of diamonds. So three diamonds doesn't give her hand justice. And here we're cold for five diamonds. So obviously, I can't take another call. I mean, I wouldn't have even. I would have just bid two diamonds with her hand initially. Um, don't need to play this hand. And a bit of no trump here. I mean, it's not even clear we would find a game if she bid the impulse. I mean, she's just going to have to drive there because I have a minimum. I have a 12 count with only three diamonds. These people, two heart. Okay, that's some. Two hearts pass, two spades, three diamonds. Okay. These people, one heart, two diamonds. Three no makes as long as uh, clubs are not five two. So, but the best spot is five diamonds for sure. It's just cold. Um, I'm gonna bid three no here. It's a little bit psychotic, but um, I ha since I only have fifteen, but I'm red at imps and I have some good spots, so I'm just gonna bid game. In match points, I would pass. We will see. Right. Okay, well, I'm happy I'm in game. Um. Do, 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 do. Three. Probably two, two. I'm gonna try to get two hard tricks. I'm gonna try to take three spades, two hearts, two clubs, and two diamonds. So I'm gonna play on hearts. Uh, or I could play on spades also. Maybe I just play on spades and hope they break hearts for me. It's probably right. The general way to play the heart suit is I'm gonna play low to the king and then come back and play low to the eight, probably. It's probably the percentage play. Okay, so she had five spades. Whoa. Two of clubs pitch and now eight of clubs shift. I just go low. This is very nice. Anam probably should have ducked the queen of spades. I mean, winning the ace of spades and then shifting to a club doesn't exactly tear me apart. So now I just have entries and I don't have to play the spades. At least if she ducks the spade, now it's a lot harder for me to like, I can't play another spade without setting up a spade for her. So she shouldn't have time. She shouldn't. Have, she should have ducked another spade. I think. Um, it looks very good. It looks like King Club's in the pocket. So I'm just gonna set up a heart trick now. Well, I still have entries. I just go low. And I'm gonna win it on the table and always wanna to lead towards honors. So win on the table and lead a heart towards my hand. I don't know what's gonna happen, but 
It's better than leading one from my hand. So I'm in good shape here. I have nine tricks. Um. Um. I'm gonna play low. I'm gonna win it. And um, I have my club entrance. I'm gonna play the Ace of Diamonds. See if the honor falls. Okay. When it doesn't, I play um, Spade. And a Spade. And a Club. Cool. Um, Karakli, why not duck a diamond? Um, I want to, so I want to um, knock out the opponent's aces. The heart trick, I was assuredly going to set up a heart trick by playing on hearts, just by force. Even if the king loses the ace, I can then knock out the queen, and I had nine tricks that way. So you want to play suits in no trump where you're going to develop tricks for sure. If I duck a diamond... I don't know if I'm developing a diamond trick, because I only develop a diamond when diamonds go 3-3. So it's more productive for me to lead hearts and spades, knock out their aces. I'm gonna bid two diamonds here. Great three no bid, maybe partner had a three no bid after same and red at imps. Maybe. She had nine. Nothing too special. Uh, two hearts. So now what we're gonna do... Okay, this guaranteed five diamonds. Um, I'm gonna bid three spades. Is This is a splinter. So it's a secondary splinter, so it shows three trumps and a stiff spade. Um... Four diamonds. Interesting. So she's trying to give me a diamond cubid. Um. So she shouldn't have the ace of spades because she didn't double. Um. Um, I'm gonna bid four spades here. Uh, it should be it should be kickback. We play kickback because I think I think we um we we set hearts when I bid three spades. I mean, as long as we're on the same page. I mean, three spades is a splinter in support of hearts. Whenever you jump in a forcing auction. It's always a splinter. Whenever we're in a game forcing auction, we jump. It's a splinter. That's the nature of two over one. If I have a hand with spades, I just bid two spades. Two diamonds and two spades. When you jump, it's a splinter. Hopefully I don't play four spades. Although I do have the contract card. But I think since Anam doubled, Chris will figure out that I don't actually have spades. But no, she knows I don't have spades. But why is she thinking so long? It's just like a little bit worrisome that like she does that she's not on the same page here. Chris is one of the partners I trust the most that she knows what I'm doing. Four no five clubs, five diamonds. Should be two key cards without the Queen of Hearts. 
Um, I guess I can't bit a slam. I'm off a of queen of trump and a spade. I guess I have to just bid five hearts. I want to bid it. But she showed two she showed two key cards without. And she can only have five hearts she can have five hearts to bid two hearts. It's just our default rebid. Well, I have bid my hand correctly, according to what I think is going on. I mean, can't have a diamond void. Four diamonds? She would never bid four diamonds with a void in my primary suit. Yeah, she's thinking she's trying to get it right. I mean, she's trying to figure out this three spade bid and what the hell the three spade bid is. But it should be a splinter in support of hearts, pretty clearly. But maybe she's just not confident about it. I mean, I could have bid three hearts instead, but this is just clearly a splinter in support of hearts. That's how I play. She probably has diamonds. And doesn't realize that I was coming in hearts. Here we go. Six hearts. I don't I can't say I mind it. I mean maybe she has like maybe she does have the Queen of Hearts. Maybe she's finally woken up to my sequence and figured out what I'm doing. Okay. I am not complaining. I bid my hand. I know she's trying to figure out the auction. Nice hand, partner. Okay, so... A couple of different ways to go here. Um, you could try to play... You could try to just rough a spade and then play ace, king, and diamonds and fall back in a club finesse if the diamond queen doesn't fall or a squeeze. Um, you could also try to rough out the queen of clubs, but you need to manage that spade loser too. So, I mean, I think I would start by playing a spade and roughing the spade, and then try to manage the miners later. I think you go spade. Um, and then rough the spade. I would have played a spade rather than a heart there. Okay, so Trump's went 2 2. So now she has some luxury to, to play around here. Definitely should try to combine her chances. Again, I would play a spade. Um, possibly a club to the ace and then a spade. I mean. But maybe she's just going to go ace, king of clubs, rough a club. But she should play spades first, really, to set up her squeeze. This is not the most accurate line. Uh, no, it should be pretty obvious for them to, to figure out where the diamond is. I mean, they know my partner is the ace of diamonds, so no one's pitching a diamond from the queen. So they have all these safe spade pitches. They're just not going to be able to... There's no way that they're going to give that away. 
And we have to play a spade now. I mean, if, if she plays a spade, the defender should play the queen of clubs to kill her threat card the way that she's timed it. That's why she shouldn't play the clubs so early. She should have played the spades first so that she can retain control and keep her jack of clubs as a threat card. Looks like this is a losing finesse, if I had to guess. Just sort of tell by how excited they were to, to follow the diamonds, to, to play diamond, diamond. Yeah, ace of diamonds, they were so excited to follow with the diamond. Oh well. That's a burn. My line would have worked. I mean, I was I was playing ace. I was gonna play the ace king of clubs. So no, sorry. I was gonna play a spade and then rough a spade, and then play ace king of clubs, rough a club, and then run my trumps. No, no, that's not what I was gonna do. I was gonna play ace king of diamonds. That was what I said first, and then take a club finesse. There's a whole bunch of things she could have done. Hey, Phil C, welcome to the stream. Yeah, I mean, at least she could have run the last club and roughed it out so that she figured out where the fourth club was also. If she was just going to go take a diamond finesse, um, ace of clubs, king of clubs, rough a club, maybe, again, spade, so we can rough out that last club and see who has the fourth one. A spit. Hold on one sec. I'm going to go on mute for a sec. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize I was still on mute. Hey, Rusty. Thank you. At least my mute button works. Okay, I guess we just win it in hand and play a heart to the king. The nine of spades. So I think he led from jack seven, six, four. She has ten, nine tight, probably would be my guess.
was just looking through your vo uh, VOD for pass to heart and notice the over the shoulder link. Would suggest mods can do add um, command. Can do add command odds or whatever you want to name the command and insert the link. This way it may be easier for people to get the link and you can publicize it easier. That's really interesting, Rusty. Thank you. Um, so I just like type that. I have Streamlabs. I have Streamlabs. Hi, Ignatius. Welcome to the stream. Pop King here. Um. All right, maybe I'll. So the mods have access to the to the robots also. Um, okay. I mean, yeah, I could make Rusty a mod. Do you want to be a rod, a mod, a mod, Rusty? <laughs> I mean, I don't know you at all, but I'm a very trusting person. And if and if you're a mod, you want to be a rod. That's funny. You want to be a rod. If Leia, if Leia trusts you, then I probably trust you, honestly. Even though I don't know Leia at all either. But I trust her. It's so weird. I trust all of these people. But I don't know any of them. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, no, but you, you, you made Rusty your mod, so you have to trust Rusty. Alright, Rusty, do you want to be a mod and you can, like, help me do these things? I mean, no pressure. Um, all right. Can I make you a mod right now? Um, let me go to my... Oh, go slash mod. Uh, Rusty the snowman. Is there a space after the mod or no? Okay. All right, Rusty, do your thing. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Um... Yeah, we'll find it eventually. All right, I'm not complaining. Four spades hammered. Spades, minimum with spades, four spades. Um, do I wanna lead a trump here is the question. Or do I wanna lead a heart? I don't really have the club control. I think I'll just lead a heart. We play Rusa now. Five spades. She doubled with the. Okay. Guess I just go ten.
Wow. Should know I have the nine now. Can lead low. Okay. Um, I wonder if it was ace king tight of clubs. Is that why she did? Is that why she played ace and king? So maybe I'm supposed to just win this and give her a club rough? Not sure. I guess I should have just ducked the diamond. Uh, maybe I did something stupid. Why'd she go ace-king at clubs? I guess the club is good. I know. Can we beat it too? I don't see how we can beat it too. The clubs are 3-3. Three, three. I mean, they were just in total outer space. They had the ace of diamonds on side just for down one. So that's like a Jacoby 2-0, basically. We play uh, step step raises. So she's basically bidding Jacoby 2-0 when she bids three clubs. So um, I'm supposed to bid three diamonds with this hand to show a minimum. Even though it's not really minimum, but like I'm supposed to bid three diamonds anyway. Um, min, no voids. Artificial. Now she can ask me for shortness with three hearts or show her own shortness. So she's just going to bid four spades and not even ask. We play a uh, raise structure that was invented by Stu and Chris. Um, and I'm just off two bullets here. Pretty nothing hand. I'll lead a diamond up and see if they duck it. Ace of spades first, just in case they're 3-0. Uh, Alternatively, I could play on clubs first and hope they don't break a diamond. Oh, it looks like he's got the diamond. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go jack a club. See if they want to play. See if they want to um, win it and play a heart. And then I'll be able to pitch the diamond that way. It's a little sneakier. It's hard. It's hard for him to play the ace of diamonds now. I think. A little sneakier.
Okay, cool. This is weird. Delayed two clubs over the one no rebid. Whenever there's delayed action, your first your first thought should be, this is weird. Something weird is happening now. Um, so probably she's too suited. Um, I'm just gonna pass. I'm not really sure what's happening, but if like Zach does delayed action, he has like the most bizarre hand ever. This is very, very strange. It's usually what you do when you have like some two suited hand that's really hard to describe. And now, but like it does add a level level of murkiness um, to, to them. Like what was this two diamonds? Is it weak and not forcing? Like how does he get out in diamonds? They don't have two way new minor now. So it makes it a little bit more challenging. Are they just floating way too high? Yeah, he does. Oh, by the way, did you see his like, did you see his four club bid yesterday? I gotta show you this when we get a chance. I gotta show you Zach's four club bid yesterday. Three diamonds. He's trying to get out in diamonds. Oh yeah, I'm definitely ripping three now. But I, I know that he's trying to get out in diamonds, so. Uh, I'm just gonna leave the 10 of clubs, standard and partner suit. No Rusino and partner suit, it's so just standard. No, we don't leave Roosin up from Doublesons, ever. Maybe a Trump now? Alright, Queen of Clubs, that's fine too. I'm gonna play the 9. I guess I'm just gonna keep tapping him. I don't have anything better to do. Club doesn't help. Um, how could any of this matter?
I don't know if we're done now. I want to kind of do like view graph coverage, like if they have view graph on, um, I want to kind of look at that, but I'm not sure whether, I'm not sure whether it's like cool if I do that. Does anyone have an opinion on that? Does that in violation with any policies? Yeah, I know. I mean, I understand, but I think there are some additional concerns where, um, the additional concern is that if their view graph is live, okay, let me explain it. If the view graph is live, right? And these four, these like eight people are watching the view graph. If these eight people are on view graph, they might be live with the view graph. And these eight people are just trusted to not like watch the view graph. And they're just like picking a match that they know everyone is safe in. But the thing is, BBO has ways to track IP addresses. If we also show the hands from my stream, then they have a way potentially to watch the hands without having IP trace. So... Yeah. Well... Um... I know it's 15 minute delay, but is it 50? It's not... It's not delayed for the people that are on view graph. I know it's delayed from everybody. I know the view graph is 15 minute delayed. Um, let me make a phone call. Let me make a phone call. I oh, know we still don't have, I still don't have authorization to do that yet. Um, I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm just gonna not. Um, let's do some fun bridge. I don't think it. I don't think I. I can do it yet. I'm gonna try to do coverage. I'm gonna try to do view graph coverage. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do view graph coverage for the playoffs. Um, I don't have any challenges here. Um. Someone sent me a challenge. I guess the challenges are a little bit slower. Um, I guess the challenges are a little bit slower. Uh, I'm gonna play some chess. I don't have a fun thing to do with bridge right now, so I'm gonna play chess. Um, can you comment on why purple isn't winning um, the fight club? Well, I don't, I don't know. I haven't really been watching the rest of my team. I'm doing everything I can. Um, <laughs> um, Have I seen the scoreboard? Um, let me check it. Oh, yeah. So it's it's in the BFC BFC results tab. 
I don't know if it, I, I don't know if I have the scoreboard. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't have any beer carts. Dang. Oh wait, is he in first? Big Geek is in first because he has two beer carts. Oh my god. Wait, how do you like make sure that your beer carts count? Oh, his VP average is higher. No, but yeah, then why? Oh, I see. It's on a percentage basis. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I have to say, Leia, um, it, it could be a little bit more clear if you have, like, average. You, you need a column for VP average, which is higher. Like, average VPs per round. Because then I will understand it so much better that it's sorted by average VPs per round. Okay, that's fine. You don't have to add another column. Um... Um, oh, okay, so we're in fourth. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes, I get that. We're going to play the Carol Khan. I'm just the right level of chess where I'm like not that good, but maybe you can be able to follow my ideas. This is the main line of the Carol Khan defense. Um, like very, very boring. Okay, so they play that, so they want to get that one in. So you're supposed to play this to stop it. What's that speed cuber? Is that a spam or is that uh, something good? Rusty, do you know? More like Carol can't, ha ha ha. Does anyone know if that speed cuber is spam or not? I can't tell whether that's like one of the stream. Okay, it's spam. Okay, then I'm gonna delete it. Um. Um. Can one of my moderators check out whether that's spam? I can't tell at all. Just delete it if you think it's spam. Um, I'm just gonna cackle. I don't know what a Rick roll is. Um, let's develop my queen. All right, um, I think my position is fine, honestly. 
I'm playing, I'm going to probably try to get E5 at some point. Um, I'm just going to develop. Um, maybe I just go like here. Maybe this rook actually belonged here. Not sure if that was a mistake. My position is very comfortable. There are no issues with it. I don't think. Burning three o'clock. What did he play? Why is my clock moving? I didn't see what he played. Oh, bishop b5. Oh, okay. Um, right. So, but can I just take? What's the problem there? This queen is not defended. Putting some pressure there. This queen still isn't defended. Um, I'm just going to ask this bishop a very important question. What are you doing, bishop? Okay. Uh, I can take with the knight, and then that's under attack. Or I can just take with the rook. Um... Hopefully I'm not blundering anything. Takes, takes. I think it's okay. My, my picture here is a picture of uh, Sam Shanklin in a fat suit. Um... Wow. So now he's sacked a pawn. Maybe I just go... Um, I have a past E... I have a past E pawn, and I'm black. I kind of just want to, like, clamp down here. Maybe put the bishop there. But I kind of have to guard that knight. He goes there. See, I don't think that's a good move. What if I just go here now? I think that's free tempo. Okay. Um, this bad boy is no longer pinned. But I don't have a great square for it. And my clock is running. All right, I'm going to go here. Thank you for the prime, Saba. Appreciate that. No problems here. It wasn't a great piece tonight. That's under attack. All right, so I have to I have to be a little bit careful here and guard that pawn because that was forking my two pieces. So I have to guard this. I may play that one eventually. I think I just want to get rid of this strong knight. Okay, and now um, I need to manage my clock here. 
Um, maybe we attack... No? Can't... Yeah, we can do that because this king is still pinned. If he takes it, I can move the bishop there and he gets... He gets forked. He gets skewered. Okay. Um, now I can go check. It's under attack. That might not have been a great move. Um, I guess I can attack his his rook. That's guarded once. I'm not clear on this. Okay. I guess I just go here, push push the pawn, right? Maybe that. Uh, he's trying to checkmate me. Um, not a ton of time. I'm gonna go here. Centralize. Maybe, maybe some ideas. All right, let's go here. Got to move quick. Um, all right, I'll go check. Ooh, look at this square. Look at that square I have. Just resigned. GG's. GG's. All right, let's play again. Alrighty, what is this country? Belarus. Alright, I play one d4. And this is like a uh, Slav defense. Whoops. Okay. So I think I just developed the other night. Um, it goes there. So I can take... I think I can take here. And now, I think I like that move. Put a little pressure here. Hit that once, he can't move the bishop. All right, so now he's boxing in his own bishop. So, I think I can just hit this, it's pinned, set up a pin. All right, so now it looks stupid that he played that move because he's moved his bishop the other way anyway. Um, I'm just gonna play e3 here, develop my bishop. Okay. Um, just develop. Um, maybe I'll play this one. Just like threaten some ideas on on the king side. Okay, that's a strange move. Knight to the rim. Um, so. Part of me wants to cast a long and just use this and just like hit him with 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 the G pawn. All right, let's do that first, just to stop that. Temporize a little bit. Let's get this bishop. I don't really. It could be annoying. Let's see what he wants to do here. All right, it's moving the knight. Both his knights are on the on the rim. Knights on the rim are dim. That's a Shankland, uh, a Shankland saying. All right, put my queen here. Create a battery. Okay, it's a good knight. I can remove it. He's threatening nothing really, but it is a good knight. Um, I guess I'll just remove it. My bishop wasn't doing that much against that pawn. Um, and now, um, hmm. Now I kind of am at the crossroads about to go long or short. Um, I can take... I think maybe I just go for the kill and start throwing pawns this way. All right, I'm gonna castle long, looks more fun. My plan is here, and to hit the knight and then maybe uh, maybe move the h-pawn to, to h5 also. Start, start putting pressure on his king side. I'm gonna hit the knight right now, see where it wants to go. All right, you're, you're, you're not supposed to be in Shadow Knights. That's not what you want to do. So that's guarded once. Um, let's go here and just put a little pressure on. Just 
start making some ch some threats. I think I'm gonna go here and start ripping open this this king. A little uncomfortable, but I think I'm okay for now on the king side. I want to open up this file. He's threatening this one. I need to move it, but it's not a problem. Uh, ooh, wait. It's 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 pinned a bit. I can just ignore him, maybe. Takes. If he takes the knight, I take with the pawn. Uh, check. He can't take it. Ch takes. He ta and if he takes it, no, I still not getting. I'm just gonna move here. Discard everything. Keep everything good. I'm planning maybe a double. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just take. I know he gets the bishop in, um, but that's okay. I'm going to open up this file for the rook. Let's see which way he takes that way. It's probably the right move. That pawn is very weak. Uh, so I'm going to start putting some pressure on that pawn. It's protected by the bishop. That's hit. He's got to be careful here. I, I'm threatening that and then this. I can take it and then go and then take the pawn. I don't know if he sees it. Okay, um, I can just take, now I'll take, I'm going to take with the pawn here. Maybe that was wrong, maybe I should have gone for it. He gets some counterplay now, moving the queen. Um, then I, I can move my king back, it's a little bit safe. I'm threatening this and then this, which is nasty. Um... I guess I'll just take. That's t that he can take that piece. That was a mistake, I think, because now this hits this. Ooh, that's also that's tough move. All right, I'm getting. I'm mean, I'm losing my queen here, but his queen is hanging too. I don't know what's happening. I might be okay here. I got a lot of pieces around his king. Okay. But what's the... What was that move? That was just insane. Let's go again. All right, d4. D C4. All right, let's do the same thing. Italian opening. So now here, let's see what he wants to do. Last guy played G3. Okay, here. So I think we, when they go there, I think I go here. Not pinned because I haven't moved my E pawn yet. All right, so he's giving up the dark squared bishop or the light squared bishop. Um, I can take. I might just take. And then hit the knight. I'm gonna hit the knight with uh, the queen, and he can't capture the pawn. And now I'm gonna advance the pawn. And now he he can take it and butcher's pawn structure and move backward. So now I have a nice space advantage. Um, I can hit that, but no. I think I should just develop. Maybe I'll just develop my bishop. Just develop my pieces. Nothing crazy. Okay, he's moving there. I'm just gonna castle. Yeah, you forgot the rook was guarded by the queen. Yeah. All right, so now that one is open, kind of. So always look at this. Like, I'm looking at ideas like this to start checkmating him. Um, but um, I need a little bit more ammunition before I go for it. Um, I need to bring in more pieces into the attack. So I like this rook getting involved. Um, I'm going to move my king with the plan on moving my F pawn. So he's attacking my center um, I'm gonna take this way if he if he takes now I can move my knight here I, um wait let's think about this for a second I also have this move um then he can go the bishop that traps a bishop he can take. I take, I think this is actually fine. 
Takes, takes, takes. I'm not sure. Really? I have very strong uh, D-pawn now. That's under attack, but I don't necessarily need to eat it. I think I can just move my move my knight. That's under attack now. I see. Okay. Well, I'm gonna develop another piece. I mean, he. Oh wow, that was under. He could have just taken that for free. Um. Now I go. Now I go here and guard it for sure. I think is right. Get my eye on that pawn. Wow. Um. All right, let's just move the queen in at this point. I mean. I'm not sure if this is sound. Okay, he's cutting me off. But that doesn't come without a price. He's not having a good square for my knight. And he can't bring his knight in because it guarded here. So a really strong connect three, as Nakamura would say. That's under attack. He needs to figure something out. He needs to probably move it. Um, do I just let him take it? And just go boom, boom. The thing is, he has an exit square. Um, I guess I'll just... Is that a free pawn? Uh, the queen is under attack. Oh, I can take. And if he takes that way, I have this. Um, I can just check. GG's. Let's take this. Okay, and now let's make a new queen. Light square. Light squares are gonna be fine. I think I can make a new queen now. I'm not sure if that's the most accurate, but it looks good. I can maybe exchange sack this knight if it gets annoying. Um, um, Let's just go here. Fine. My king, I have to be careful I don't get back. All right, he just resigned. And a rematch, let's take it. How many is that, three, four in a row, something like that? Maybe we'll get up to 1,700, we'll see. This is an Italian style opening. Um, develop the knight. Yeah, this is like, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do this, box on my bishop, but it's just very solid. White is somewhat better here, I think. Um, play c5. Um, To be a little bit careful here because he does have this freaking bishop. Um, I didn't mean to do that. That was a mouse slip. Um, yeah, I certainly did not mean to play that move, but not horrible, I guess. Um, Man, is this annoying. I'm really not in love with this position. 
I guess I'll just castle. He's got a lot of pressure on me. Yeah. Um. What do I even do here? How do I how do I make a counterattack? Oh, he went long. Not sure about that decision. He's wasting time securing his own king. All right, I'm gonna develop, put my rook on a on a good file. I'm not sure about that decision for him to cast along or her. Um, hello. Um, Okay, how do I how do I get something going here? Square it's really annoying. Alright, right, let's just play this. Planning to go Yeah. He can just he'll just alright. He can take it, maybe. It's, it's not a bad sack. I'm gonna take. here. Pawn takes knight here. Bishop checks. Alright, let's go for it. I'm not sure if this is right, but he has his check, but I can just move the king. Okay, wait, but that's hanging. This is hanging now. Yeah, I know you have that check, but what else? Okay. Um, what else do you have besides for a check? Let's go there. Open up. Counterattack. I'm, I'm threatening this one also, kind of. Centralizes the queen. Oh no, that's hanging. Ha ha ha. Wow. Play another. Karakan. Karakants. Takes, takes, exchange. Alright, no pan of attack. G6. I'll have to look at that. Um. Let's go here. He hasn't moved this pawn yet, so he can't do any tricks. Okay, I think I can go here. Um, I'm going to play here. Hit this pawn. He's, he's letting me have it. Um, what's his point? All right, I'm just gonna take the pawn. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna exchange some pieces. 
That's hanging. Um, can I take it? Yeah, it just takes. I think I can just take again. Does, does e6 just, does this just win a piece? If he takes to the pawn, I can take the bishop. Jacob, thank you for the raid. I think this wins a piece. If he moves the knight, no, I can just take the queen. You know, if he moves the knight, if he takes, I think it, this is just like winning. Because now the bishop is hit, and if he, all right, but, all right, where's your checkmate? He's lost so much material. He needs to checkmate me now, otherwise the game is going to end. I need to get my king safe. Jacob, wel welcome to the stream. Um, Alright, so he's threatening this one. Um, how do I defend this effectively? Let's maybe move the knight in. I'm thinking maybe a fiend shattering my bishop and setting up kind of like a king's Indian. Um, that's a good move. Um, I'm thinking maybe still of just like developing the bishop this way, because I don't I don't want to move my e pawn right now because this rook. Oh wow, that's I missed that one. All right, so now I'm gonna play here. He can take. Yikes! This might get a little dicey. I have to make sure I don't get mated. They have that one too. What do you just take? My phone just started blowing up. Um, maybe I go. Maybe I maybe I bring in the bishop here, just to. He can take my exchange back. I can take that one. I I want to develop my pieces. The chest, it goes okay. I've won a few games in a row. Um, Jacob, thank you for the follow as well. Um, check is a good move. Let's move my king to the dark squares. I'm trying not to get checkmated. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna, uh, I guess I'll take it with the rook. That's a good move, but I can go here. He has, okay, that one. Let's create a Not sure, not sure about this. Lunchtime, cool. I'm not sure about this at all. I think he should move his queen here. Then I have this one. My, I, at least I control this long diagonal. Like he can't do anything about that long diagonal. My king is on dark square. So I don't really see like how I'm gonna get checkmated. I think I can go here. Um, and what's his point? I think I'm good here. I don't think I don't even see a move. Maybe I'm being thick, but I think I've, I think I kind of got him. I could the long diagonal being controlled is good. Because now I, I, I kill all of his threats here. Yeah, it was close. It was close. I managed to, to eke this out. It wasn't very pretty. Yeah, I know. Every, my, my phone keeps ringing. I'm getting calls from my OCBL team by like 500 different people. 
Um, so I'm just going to ignore it right now until I get a call that says you cannot ignore, a text or a call that says you cannot ignore this phone call. I don't think he has a move. I think the game is just over. I have, I'm, I'm, I have two pieces for an exchange, and I'm only up a, a material. I'm only up one point, so it's actually not even like a clean win yet. What? Something? Okay. But I don't. I, is he losing material here? He just resigned. Wow. All right, I'll accept the challenge. We go Queen's Gambit. All right, he plays accepted. I'm gonna play e3 here. This is what how I originally learned this. This is the old line. Most people play e4, but I'm gonna just take and play e3 and just play like this. Um, Adam Harmon? Why, is this a Harmon, somebody that plays this e3? Oh, Beth Harmon, ha ha ha, I get it, okay. Um, I'm just gonna develop. <laughs> I get it now. All right, so uh, I'm gonna put my bishop. I can go here, here. I'm gonna put it. Uh, I guess I'll put it here. Maybe set up a battery later or something. Um, just gonna develop my my bishop. All right, he goes there. Maybe I go. Maybe I go a4 here. A4, a5. Now that he moved his rook. King's Castle. Here we go. A... Then he has that one. Here we go. A5. I'm not sure about this. Um. I can play E5. And then takes. I take. And then the E pawn drops. Um. Right, that is an issue. All right, I'm gonna go here and threaten e5. All right, so now I will go e5, I think. Now if he takes, I can take with the bishop or the pawn with this guard. Okay, so the knight goes backwards. Just gonna try to reroute. I'm gonna bring the queen up, develop the queen. All right, that, he's trying to go solidify a square for the knight. Problem is, now I can play that one over there. My bishop's on the wrong diagonal. Um, that is an issue, potentially. Let's, this knight is not working great right now. It's guarding that square. Can I go here and just Take and take a look at that square and that square. Uh, I'm gonna put the knight on a good square. Hit the rook. Uh, I don't want to take that piece because it's not useful for me. It's not a good piece. Um, That is under attack. Um, I'm just gonna make the bishop look like a stupid piece, but keep everything sound. All right, so now he brings the bishop to that square. So bring in the queen. I'm gonna bring in my rook, put it on a good file. He goes there to try to remove this knight, but I don't think that's accurate. I mean, his king, his knight really just left his king side like that. Can I play uh, here? Takes, 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 takes. And now these bishops are looking amazing. I'm gonna go for it. But his queen is on a clumsy square and he can't really open things up. This bishop now comes to life a little bit, he takes. Um, I think I have an intermezzo move here. Uh, because I, I hit the queen, 
So I can take that next move and then I have that one too. Alright, so now he has to move the queen. Oh, and I, I can skewer him. So I, I think I go check and then I go skewer. Like that. Knight holds that. That's coming to take. Um, but here, I think I just go here. Okay. And now I just, uh, he takes, I take, do, 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 takes, takes. I have not that much time to figure all this out. Um, bishop takes, he goes knight takes. All right, I'm going to play... Hmm. Where's my win? Uh, I'm going to play bishop takes. That might not have been best. But I'm running low on time. That's just hanging. But then he can take back. Um, but... I like my... Position. Um... 51 seconds. What is the measure of the um, really? Um, how about that? Make some checkmating threats. I have that one in the air. His queen can't take, my queen is still here. Okay. Um, so, I have no time on my clock. I'm gonna go here. Yeah, I'm sure I had multiple different ways of winning. But I have no time on my clock, so I need to just find a win. If he advances the pawn, I think I just take it. And then I think he's going to get checkmated. But I might be wrong. I think I just take it. And then try to checkmate him. I don't know if it's going to work, though. Is he just getting checkmated here? Okay, he is that. Um, right, I think I go here, maybe? It's a mistake. Fuck. Um, fuck. Damn. Oh man, I blew this game. Oh my god, I butchered this. Completely butchered it. I know, I butchered it. Oh, uh, completely savage here. Look at it after. Too bad. Rest in peace. I know I freaking butchered this game. I'm I, I'm sorry. I feel horrible about it. I know I should have won that. Um, let's look at this game. Oh, you challenged me again? I'll accept the challenge. One to one on the challenge. Let's. is a good opponent for me. Um. Give me one minute, I'm gonna make a phone call.
Okay. Um, I'm playing chess. Um, hopefully it's not too boring for some of the viewers. I know this is mostly a bridge stream, but I don't have any challenges to complete and I've already played bridge. Um, and I'm just going to play uh, another five minute match and see what happens. Um, okay, 1d4. I've done pretty well. I've lost one game. I should have won all of the games, but I missed a move under time pressure. Um, okay, so this is like King's Indian style. So I'm going to develop this knight and maybe play an e4. Um, I'm going to play f4 here and just do the four pawns attack. I kind of like this, and we'll see what happens. We'll have a fun game at least. We we'll develop the knight. Okay, so King's Indian is very tricky to play against. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna develop my bishop here just in case he wants to move his bishop there. I'll just unpin it preemptively. That's not a great square anyway because it faces this pawn. Um. I'm going to castle here and then move my king just so that I don't have any issues on these dark squares. I'm thinking about playing that one. It's tempting. It's very tempting. Because he because he has to kind of move his, his knight and it, and it sort of messes up his bishop. I'm just going to do it. He doesn't have a great... He's got to back up his knight now. So now I'm just going to move my king so that I don't have any issues on this. If he takes the pawn, I take back with this pawn to open up the file for the rook. So he's planning a break here, I think. Um, so um, what's my line of attack here? Um, he's, he's clamping down there. I have to have a plan here to make this worthwhile. All right. Um, let's just start developing some pieces. Uh, maybe I'll try to. Yeah. So he he plays that one. Um, I don't mind actually. I'll just take. See which pawn he takes back with. Because now I might have a uh, C file open for my rook. So I'll, I'll occupy the C file, the open file. Just make good developing moves. I'm not doing anything too crazy. Um, right. Um, I can start pushing some pawns, maybe. But um, where is this, what is this idea here? What is the square that he wants? Um, I'm gonna maybe take. No, he might. He might try to go there and then put it there. I'm gonna maybe play this one and just start threatening to push some of these. All right, so he's breaking in the center. I don't mind that at all. I'm gonna let him and I'm gonna take the space. I'm gonna take back this way if he does it. I'm gonna take. Uh, I could also take with the knight. Ooh, that I kind of like that too. Just bring the piece into the game. But I also like that. Actually, I'm going to activate the knight, I think. That's guarded twice. I like this knight now. Okay. That's fine. I like my position. Um, that's open file. I like my position. All of my pieces are pretty good. I'm going to maybe create a battery. Okay, so now he's doing this. But I don't understand the point. He's putting pressure there. What is he threatening? I'm just going to connect my rooks. Create a battery. I don't see any threats. He has to move this, otherwise I'm just going to take. And now I can just take and move this over here. I think he's in trouble here. 
I think that was too slow. I think I just now rook lift. This bishop is horrible. Let's see if I can convert this. I'm going to put my... No, he can then go there. Um, I'm going to start... Uh, no, that's not a good file. I'm going to put this here. Just start making some like cheap threats. Okay, so he's trying to skewer that. Um, I'm going to put this here. Taking eye on that pawn. Alright, he's threatening my back rank, kind of. I have to watch out a little bit. No, but I have that to guard it. Wait, I can just take. I can just take. My back rank is guarded. All right, that was just a blunder. Um, I'm just gonna make sure that my back, I don't get back rank checkmated. And then I'm gonna plan this sack, probably, and just checkmate him. Yeah. Um, okay, fine. I don't care. I'll just take it. Um, I'm also winning because I have a piece, so I don't necessarily need to even, like, sack material if it's any bit speculative. Um, takes, takes, take is check. He moves a king. Yeah, I don't even need to get involved. Don't even need to get involved. I can just win it because I'm up an extra piece. Yeah. Um, threatening there, I can move up one. Um, it's not really an issue, I don't think. Um, yeah, I think I just take at this point. I can just move up. He's not threatening anything. I have everything guarded. He's just getting checkmated here. He can't move his king. He's just checkmated. Alright. Let's go again. Uh, this is going to be my last game because I have to go play bridge in the OCBL, like, pretty soon. So, this is going to be my last game. Um, I'm playing someone who's really good. Uh, I'm going to develop my queen, make some cheap threats. I'm going to castle here. I'm threatening here to exchange his dark square bishop, which is allegedly a good piece in these positions. Um... Right, um... I can go... here? This guy's a good player, I have to be careful. Um... That's a nice move. Um... If he takes, maybe he's just going to take. Okay. But now I go here, I think, and close it. Um, I, get, I could take with the knight again. It's not crazy. I mean, it's, no, that's, that's hanging. I can't. Yeah, that's he's hitting that piece. All right, so maybe I now I pin his queen this way. Um, not sure, not sure. What did he do? Oh, he moved his queen back. Okay. So now I can defend. Uh, 
Uh, and now I go here to hit this. Put that question, do you want to exchange a bishop? The guy knows some theory. Yeah, he knows a lot more theory than I do. I know some stuff just because I, I was like really good friends with Sam Shanklin in, in, in college. So he's he's taught me like a good amount. I like this move. Um, that's weak. That is, he's planning f5. Um, um, I think I can just, I think I can just take the file. No, I mean, you're, I know you're supposed to go here and then here and then put the bishop. I know what you're supposed to do, but it's a little passive. I'm just going to take it. I don't want to get involved in this. Um, and now maybe here. Uh, this knight. Okay, that's a weird move. Can I? Do I have e5? Uh, no. Nah. Do I have tactics at all? Maybe I just go here. Yeah, Shanklin is super good. He wasn't yet that good when he was in college, but now he's very good. Um, pretty old. Yeah, F3. Um, I'm going to take and open up the file for my rook and uh, I guess he can take with a bishop yeah that's tough okay um I'm gonna move my queen here guards this still he's got some cheap threats here um shit I think I have to go here this is a problem he has some threats here okay I'm going to move, Jesus, I'm really locked down for pieces here. I guess I have to try to reroute this. I don't know what I'm doing. He's got these opposite colored bishops, and I have knights, and bishops are usually better than knights on an open board. I messed this up somehow. We're, we're going to try to save it. Um, shoot. That's a problem. Um. If I take... I'm really worried about this attack, but I think it's the best of my alternatives. Maybe here? Not sure. At least I have some ideas now. This knight is saving me a little bit. Hold on, I'm almost done with my stream. One sec. Hold on. All right, sorry. I'm in. A, I'm trying to save this game, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Maybe um, he's threatening that twice. All right, I'm gonna exchange, and um, he takes with that. That looks really weird. Um. Let me bring my... No, that's bad. Um, let me bring my knight here. Last last game for sure. I'm, I'm in a time trouble now. And not only am I in time trouble in the chess game, but I'm also in a time trouble with the real game. I'm going to take his uh, dark square bishop. If he takes with the king, now I can move here as check. And now I have this idea, kind of. Um... He messed this up, kind of. Um, let's just go. Just... 
cheap threats. Maybe big threats. How do I stop that threat? Uh, I guess I have to go here. If he checks me, I go here. Uh, that's pin now. Jeez, this is tough. Um, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm in time trouble, and I'm gonna flag. Yeah, I guess I have to go here. Takes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. This is not good. But I do have like some check ideas, some perpetual check ideas. That one, no. Wow, he missed it. Okay. Um, okay, all right, I lose. Guys, I have to end my stream. I have to go submit a lineup. Thank you all. Um, sorry about the rush at the end, but thank you. Bye.